What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video. Today is Monday, September 20th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. As I do every Monday, my friends, today I'd like to take some time and try to answer some of the questions that you've sent the channel and also go over some of the feedback that you've sent over the last week. I mean, we all know at this point the game is pretty much in a holding pattern. However, I do try to take these Mondays and answer as much as I can. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here and our current one is for an Xbox Series S and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. The winner will be announced on October 2nd of this year and as of mentioned in every previous video my friends please keep in mind that you do not need to join as a member in order to enter the contest we do have monthly membership prizes however for this giveaway for the xbox all you need to do is subscribe or follow on twitter Having said that, let's get into today's video. So as I start today's video off, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support of this channel. Most of you may have known over the last four, let's say five weeks, I haven't been as consistent as I normally am with my videos. I've had things come up with live streams, this and that, but your support has sincerely meant the world to me. Most of you know by now I'm a pretty private person at the channel. However, I did get some great news over the weekend, which should now allow me to really get into, you know, making more content, focusing more in the game focusing on other games coming up and again my friends we are just getting started i am sincerely thankful you're a part of this family and cannot wait for all the stuff that's on the horizon one of the first things i'd like to mention today is the fact that the game put out a tweet this morning talking about tomorrow's maintenance now we all know every tuesday the game does like a three hour maintenance cleans up the servers things like that however with these patch notes they actually had some maintenance things attached to it you can see here the game says that they will be fixing an issue Issue that caused players to become invisible if a player detonated the EMP sticky bomb while interacting with a ladder. They fixed an issue where players could infinitely use or throw a shrapnel trap skill with no cooldown while having four pieces of the rigor set. And finally, they say they will be fixing an issue where players could climb over a fence in Coney Island Ballpark and reach a non-playable area. Now, to the best of my knowledge, some of these have been addressed before, but hopefully they will be fixed this time. With that being said, my friends, let's now go over some of the questions you've sent the channel over the last week and also talk about some of the feedback as well. Now, the first thing I want to get into is the fact that finally the global event Golden Bullet starts tomorrow, and I know for so many gamers out there, it's by far your favorite global event in the game. Now, for those of you that are new or just returning to the game and you haven't played this before, tomorrow being Tuesday the 21st, I will be putting together a dedicated video showing you the best way to farm for stars during this time because in my opinion it is a great way to stock up on some really good gear in the game. As I'm sure most of you know, one of the main reasons you want to earn as many stars as you can is so you can buy as many caches as you can. And two of the most popular ones are named caches and legacy caches because in those you can gain Dark Zone exclusive items. So for people that don't like going into the DZ, it happens to be a great chance to pick up things normally that you may not be able to. So again, my friends, I will put a farming video together for you tomorrow. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the section down below. Now to switch gears, my friends, I'd like to get into some of the feedback you've sent me in regards to your gameplay. And one thing I've heard a lot this week, and it's something I've heard before, but this week it seems to be popping up more often than not, is so many people are having issues with texturing, rendering, things like that. And once again, it's really affecting their gameplay. This is another one of those areas, my friends, where if you're having this problem, two things. One, let me know in the comment section down below. To be honest with you, I haven't really encountered it that often. But more importantly, if you are having this issue, make sure you reach out to the game in every way that you can, whether it's, you know, Ubisoft customer support, whether it's Twitter, whether it's whatever it may be, reach out, let them know what's going on. So that way they're well aware that so many people are still dealing with this issue. And as we move on, one thing I want to mention really quick, and I know a lot of players feel this way is if we go back the six months eight months whatever it was when the game made the announcement that they were going to continue to make us content one of the footnotes was the fact that they were going to continue to make quality of life gameplay improvements and i know a lot of gamers have not seen that consistently so my friends moving forward i hope that's something we really do start to see on a more regular basis and we start to hear more as well 
Moving on, my friends, I'd now like to talk about the vendors. Now, most of you know I do a vendor reset video every Tuesday, and one question I get asked a lot is why sometimes does the value of a weapon seem to be different for one player than another, and there seems to be a little inconsistency. And what I'm referring to is the fact that I'll get a message from someone saying, hey, I looked at that AR at the White House and it had a higher base damage than your weapon did. Why is that the case? And the only reason that takes place, my friends, is it all depends on what build you have equipped when you look at the item. Now, to give you a quick example, right now I have a Scorpio build equipped. And you saw when I was at the vendor looking at the Pyromaniac, the base damage of that weapon was 86.6k. However, now that I've changed to more of a DPS build, when I go back to the vendor you can see the base damage of that weapon changed to 97.8k and the only reason that took place is because I changed the actual build I have equipped when I went shopping. The main reason I bring this up my friends and this is really geared towards new and returning players is you want to make sure you have the right build equipped when you're going shopping that way you can really make the determination if the item or weapon is worth buying because you'll see does it really help your character. So the last few things I'd like to talk about today have to do with a few topics that a lot of you have brought to my attention over the last week. The first of which has to do with, you know, adding new legendary missions to the game. The second has to do with the fact that optimization still needs a lot of improvement. So let's start off with the legendary missions. Now, first of all, I know I speak for a lot of gamers when they say they would love to see like Lincoln Memorial become a legendary mission. But let's, you know, let's put that aside for a second. The one complaint I hear is that when people are playing on legendary, whether it's missions or the summit, the loot does not seem to be scaling to where it should be. I guess what it boils down to, at least for me, and I would love to hear your opinion as well, but for me, if I'm going to take the time and run legendary difficulty, which for me does take much much longer than heroic, I want to know I'm going to be rewarded by my time. I want to know that if I face a named enemy, I'm guaranteed a certain drop, or at least the exotic drops may be higher. So again, I would love to hear your feedback down below. Another issue that's been brought to my attention this week, and this is affecting a lot of players out there, kind of people who are, you know, casual gamers, kind of right in the middle of things right now, and that has to do with optimization. And in my opinion, even though they did make a change, they really need to drop the cost of this thing like a lot. Now keep in mind, the game did make it abundantly clear that optimization is supposed to be used to make small changes to gear. So you're not trying to max something out with optimizing it, you're trying to get, you know, that extra 0.5% damage so it can be completely god ruled. But again, for a lot of players out there, that takes a lot of resources. And trust me when I say I'm not saying make it easy or change the difficulty. What I'm saying is if it's going to be a certain level of difficulty, make sure the rewards are scale with what it should be when you're putting in that much time and effort. As always, my friends, as soon as I have any more information to pass along, I definitely will. I mean, these are conversations we are going to be having for the upcoming weeks, I think, pretty consistently. And as always, as soon as I have any more information to pass along, I definitely will be the first to do so. With that being said, I'm going to start to wrap this video up. However, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support. You know, honestly, guys, it's been a really tough five, six months for me. I know it probably has been for a lot of you out there as well. Having your support here, having you be a part of this gaming family means the world. And I'm so thankful you're here and uh, just watching the content and being a part of it. Most of you I'm sure know by now that one of my main goals in creating this channel was to create that toxic free gaming environment where we work together, help each other out. So if there are any tips and tricks you want to pass along, any questions you have, please let me know in the comment section down below. At this point, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.
According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders so that we can see six to That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. 